Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of the TagVit brand, that's T-A-G-V-I-T, their one quarter inch drive click torque wrench set. 37 pieces in this, in this kit, you can see everything here in front of you. And it has this really nice storage case that protects everything and allows you to bring this wherever you're working on your bike or your car, wherever you want to torque something down. Now this uh, has a range of 4 to 20 foot-pounds or, or uh, 5.4 to 27.2 nanometers and it's all calibrated and the company provides a calibration certificate and a quality certificate that it passed and the guarantee plus some 3% uh, accuracy which is really good. Most of the other ones on the market are 4% accuracy and it comes with a little instruction booklet that allows you to understand how to set this up. So this is high accuracy, it's plus or minus 3%. It's a professional torque wrench and um, you could use this for bicycle work or anything and uh, anything you want to torque. I'm going to be showing how to use a torque wrench and how to read it and so forth. It's really a useful tool. When, when, a, when a preset torque value is reached, the wrench will actually make a clicking sound. You can hear you can feel it, so that way you know you're not over torquing a nut, bolt, a screw, whatever you're going to be torquing with this product, you'll know that. It's made out of hardened chromium molybdenum alloy, which is sturdy and durable. It's equipped with a quick release button we're going to show to allow you to remove these really quickly. It has a comfortable grip also. The paddles of this torque wrench can be used to adjust the direction you use at any time. So that can be used to both clockwise and counterclockwise to meet your different usage. The handy scale on here is laser etched and it's really nice. I'm going to show a close-up of that. This is 37 pieces. The bicycle torque wrench includes the wrench, extension piece, one of these um, uh, angle drivers right here. And you can just see all the other pieces it comes with. These are metric sizes, socket wrenches. And they're all quarter inch to fit this. Then you got quarter inch, and you have all these different tools here: Phillips head, large Phillips head, small Phillips head, flat head, flat head different sizes, and really large uh, Phillips head right there. And quarter inch drive, different quarter inch drive types. This looks like a three eighth inch drive, this or five millimeter, four millimeter, thirty uh, thirty millimeter. Um, looks like a 30 millimeter uh, driver head for drywall and then you have these torques bit and 40 30 25 20 15 and this one right here which is labeled 10 so you have a lot of choices right here and all these socket wrenches here you'll be able to do a lot of different things here's a close-up of the tool itself and if you look here you have the button you could push to release clockwise and counterclockwise right there and when you put on let's add this extension piece right here you push the button and it releases and then you can hear the nice sound of the ratchet so you can see it's tightening in that direction allow me to turn tightening and then if I reverse it it's reversing the nut or bolt whatever you're doing that ratchet sound is really nice and it lets you know that you're getting good uh, gear contact to whatever you're torquing down. Then you just push this and it releases it that easy. But yet it holds it in place. Now let's take a look at this display right here that they're talking about. This is really nice because you can easily see the foot pounds on there. And what's cool is that it has this metal cap piece. So when you go to move this, it doesn't allow you to move it. It's locked in place. Then you pull this down and it allows you to easily move it to the torque range that you want. And it's real easy to see. Now I'm going to show you another product that I bought about six months ago. And take a look at that display right there. Every time I go to use this, I have to struggle with glasses on and being really careful to see the values here. 
And of course, this this is in Newton meter, so I've got to convert it to uh, foot pounds. But look at that display. It's really hard to see. And this is what all of my torque wrenches have had over the years. So that's the difference, is that this one is easy to read, has a real nice lock on there, and then a release, and you can't go wrong with it. I also want to point out that all of the bits that are included, you can very easily read the size in millimeter on there because they deep etched it with a laser, it looks like. And a lot of times you have to struggle to see the size of a socket, but not on these. They're all set up to be real easy to read. I really like that. So here's an example. I have the torque wrench set to four foot pounds and I have the included 12 millimeter socket head on there and I have a nut and bolt arrangement right here that's locked in place with locking pliers and I want to rotate this and tighten this nut but I don't want to go past four foot pounds so I, I got to make sure this is in the position to tighten not loosen so I put it in that position right there then I put it over the nut and then I just rotate now it starts to tighten there's a click you hear that click so it's exactly stopping at four foot pounds so that's really important when you have a spec on a nut or a bolt or whatever you're tightening because you don't want to share it or damage it they do this all the time on airplanes and they check the torque values of all the components that they only do service on them so your electrical box has torque ratings for the mounting screws so I'm going to use the included flathead number two right there and I have it set to the proper torque value and I can tighten this and there's that click so on your saws there are torque values given for the bolts that hold the blades in so this torque wrench works great for that you lock your blade in here I have a 13 millimeter on there and there's that click therefore I can't over torque that and warp the blade even on my saw there is a component on here there is a torque value so I'm using the included three millimeter hex head on there and I have the torque value set there's that click so this is a component that I had is from one of my tools and there is a torque value set for there so I'm using the number three included head on there and I got the torque value set and I can turn this and there's the click so what do I think about the TAGVIT TIG VIT brand their one quarter inch drive click torque wrench set with 37 pieces included and the range of 4 to 20 foot pounds this could be used as I showed for anything you want to torque down whether it's on your mountain bike or on your house or your car really simple device to use but yet really accurate with that certificate of accuracy of three percent this is a nice product and it's a really good value i'm going to give it a full five star rating please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads and if you like this review please hit the like button i hope the information i presented helped you with your buying decisions thanks for watching